Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be updating my inventory for my month ending results from January. Um, I'm going to jump right into it because I feel like I don't have a lot to talk about, but these videos always seem to go on. I just like start to ramble. If you want to check out my spreadsheet, it's linked down below. If you have any questions about it, put them in the comments. I'd love to chat about it, but most of you kind of know what's going on by now. So this is the spreadsheet where I keep track of literally everything going on in my inventory. Pretty much anything I own that's not like clothes and food goes in this spreadsheet. So um, some of you may know I was on a low buy for a month that started like mid-December into mid-January. Uh, so I'm going to give an update regarding that and then just hopping right into the spreadsheet at the top I have a number it says um, It says next to it goal is to get this number to be positive. So what this number is um, It's the average number of products I use up per month and currently it's negative 26 because for the past um, or more, maybe I should say the last five months of 2020 when I started doing my inventory I was bringing in more than I was using up and that is why that number is negative My goal for the year of 2021 is to get that number to be positive um, I wish I wrote down what it Started at I might actually have oh I have in my notes here on one one It was at negative 30 and now I'm at negative 26. So I'm making some headway um, I think it's gonna take me a while to really get that out of the negative just because of all the stuff I brought in from months prior. So um, just as like a high level overview um, on how my no buy like has affected my inventory so far. In December, I used up 29 items and brought in 93. In January, I used up 57 items which is huge. I almost like doubled my use up number and I only brought in 28. So my no buy has significantly helped. Um, there was a couple of things that I like got for Christmas or as gifts and you know, that whole shebang. I didn't count those things as me bringing them into my inventory. I just like adjusted my numbers. Um, cause I really want this to kind of include like things I spend my money on. Um, but on the same vein, things I decluttered, like I went through my makeup stash and there were a couple like candles I decided to gift or like hand soaps that I had in my inventory that I decided I no longer wanted and gave them away. Um, those things, I didn't mark them as using them up either because technically I didn't. I just like adjusted my numbers. So those were the two kind of caveats that happened at the end of the year. Um, and I may have talked about that a bit in my last inventory update. I feel like I just repeat myself in all these inventory updates saying I need to buy less, but I think this is the first official one where I can like come on here and officially say I used up more than I brought in and it feels <laughs> awesome. I, I just want to continue that going forward. Um, I don't want to like, you know, January fall off the deep end. So I had I don't want to call them credits, but that's kind of how I think of them. So I'm doing a two out, one in, no buy. So how this works is every two items I use, I get to buy one item. I had eight credits, <laughs> uses, products, whatever you want to call it, left over from the end of January. So I am rolling those over into February. Um, that's incorporated into this spreadsheet. You'll probably see that if you pull it up, but it, it's kind of messy unless you like know where everything's at. Like I really have a lot going on in this spreadsheet. So um, I only used up one makeup product. Didn't, sorry, <laughs> didn't bring any more of those in. So I felt really good about that. Oh yes, okay. I was like, what was it? I'm really close on using up a couple more makeup products actually, which I'm thrilled about because that is what honestly takes me the longest to get through. Um, skincare, I didn't do very good. I used up only three things, but I didn't bring anything in. Um, excuse me, uh, hair care, I finished two items and then only brought one in. So that was perfect for my two out one in. Uh, for the body care section, I used up six items, which was awesome. And I only brought in two. 
And then for the home care section, I used up 45 items. This includes my wax melt and I used up specifically 34 wax melts over the past month. I have a ton of half used clams that are like fall and winter scents that I'm really working on getting through. Um, I posted my melting basket a couple days ago talking about that, but that is why um, that number in the past, my, my average monthly use of wax melt is seven clams a month. And last month I used 34. So <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, so yeah, for home care, I used up 45 items, 34 of those being wax melts, and I only brought in 25. So I'm feeling pretty good overall. On the left-hand side, you'll see certain categories have certain color coding. The green color coding is things that I'm almost, almost out of. Like I am really close to using up. I'll likely finish them within the next three months. I think I have the filter set at. That could be totally wrong. I think it's three or four for some reason. Um, and so I want to highlight them green. Like if I, you know, a really good deal comes up or whatever the case might be, those are the things that I'm like actually low on. And then kind of similarly, I have things coated orange and yellow in the same vein. Like I'm getting close, but I'm not, it's not quite green yet. I'm not all the way there, but like you're getting close. If you use up a couple more items, you know, you'll probably get under that like three or four month threshold. My goal, my overall overarching goal would be to really have like only six months worth of a lot of these products. Um, another thing I incorporated into the spreadsheet is how many months it would actually take me to get through my whole entire stash. So I have on here the amount of like the average amount of that product I use up per month. And then I did another calculation, basically figuring out, so if I use up one hand soap per month and I have 10 hand soaps, it would take me 10 months to get through the whole stash. And I know that seems like a very simple equation, but once you get into some of these bigger numbers and like, you know, 7.7, .7, like it's not as, easy so I have a formula that does it um, and then I have another formula basically that tells me what will the date be in you know 6.1 months or whatever so instead of me just being like oh I'll use it up in six months great I can buy more I have it in here saying like no that's August 25th of 2021 like yeah six months doesn't seem like a long time but when you think of like now till August like there's plenty of time so I wanted to kind of add that in there um yes I've I know it's a couple days into February and I usually don't wait this long so I haven't put anything on my February like numbers yet as I'm filming this video because I didn't want it to like fudge my other numbers um but as soon as I upload this and I'm like done I will add some stuff because they actually have finished a body cream and a couple of wax melts so I really want to get this up and get this list updated um but other than that I don't know if there's anything major I need to update on maybe I could I'm like trying to think if I I feel like this month I've just did really well and so usually in these videos I have to talk about like here's where I need to spend more focus and here's what I really need to rein in on but I think I actually did a good job this month I felt like I've never been able to say that before um and I think the thing that's really helped me is knowing like I have to use up multiple things to get me to be able to buy other things um, and also a ton of you guys have been leaving super encouraging comments and also posting your own project pans, no buys, low buys, that type of thing. I've been loving that content. So I'm so excited to continue watching that and continue having this like conscious consumerism talk. But other than that, um, how are your guys' inventories looking? Is there a certain area of focus you have? Are you feeling just really confident because it's January and, you know, I feel like we're all really motivated in January to, like, 
do do what we said we would I guess um, and then in February things start to fall off so let me know like are you starting to feel that or are you still feeling like really confident about your goals and stuff um, are you currently doing a no buy or a low buy and if a low buy what kind or what are your restrictions let me know that as well down below um, I may do a quick little like mid-month February check-in. I did that in January when my no buy ended. Um, I might still do that just to keep on top of things. It might be like a quick five minute video saying, hey, I'm doing good or hey, I'm not doing good. Um, but I think these keep me accountable, just like chatting with you guys and expressing like, am I feeling overwhelmed and that sort of stuff. So yeah, if there's any videos you guys would want to see from me, let me know down below because I've had a lot of requests, you know, like project pan, shop my stash, those type of types of things. And I feel like I do a lot of project pans, uh, but definitely let me know down below. So that's all I have rambling over. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you enjoyed these inventory updates. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.